Fit and 10 Nation, it is day two of the Fit and 10 Challenge. Day number two, and your numbers will be coming shortly. Of course, I did give you your, or I am giving you your, you should have, you should have received your preliminary numbers from me uh, after you had your scan. Because uh, as soon as I populate the, the spreadsheet uh, with your data from your scan, I immediately get your numbers. So uh, if I didn't give you give them to you, like maybe there were questions and then we just I just didn't give them to you for whatever reason, uh, just email me and I can get them to you. There's, there's, there would only be a few of you that didn't get those numbers. So um, those of you who've had your scan, okay? So if you want, if you did get your scan, you didn't get those numbers, then, um, and, and you can't hold on, that's fine. I, 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 hey, listen, I appreciate the motivation. So just email me, I'll do my best to get them to you, okay? I will get the numbers to you here the next day or two, okay? And just so you know, there is, uh, of course, this, this challenge is 70 days, but we do have a week, uh, a week's buffer, right? So like I mentioned before, you might get your uh, your numbers, uh, let's just say you get them on a Tuesday. Okay, you're still gonna be essentially doing the challenge uh, 10 weeks ahead and finishing on a Tuesday or Wednesday, okay? So you'll go past the official end date of the challenge. The finale for the challenge isn't until a week after the official last day. Okay. All right, now, uh, Fit and 10 class info. I'm gonna put this out again. I realize the calendar has not been updated, but please just come on out this week. The classes run every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. Okay, every Monday and Wednesday at 7 p.m. There's a Fit and 10 class, as well as every Friday at 5 p.m and every Saturday at 10.15 a.m., okay? These classes will be very busy, and uh, I know they will they will water down as the weeks go on because people will start coming to other classes because I, get, I did give you guys access to the other classes. Um, but, uh, but uh, I lost my train of thought here. Um, but they're gonna be, my point is they're gonna be busy this week, okay? So if you know the movements, like I mentioned to you before, um, then just come to one of the other classes, all right? I'm gonna be going very slow because I wanna explain things in thorough um, detail. Well, I mean, I'm gonna keep it simple, obviously, but I do wanna explain things, okay? So if you're, if you're, if you're familiar with these movements, i.e. I, you've done our classes before, then maybe just come to a different class, okay? All right, questions here. Can I eat popcorn and butter? Can you? Yes, you can. Uh, in fact, popcorn, I'd recommend popcorn because it's a very voluminous uh, source of carbohydrates, okay? So especially when your calories go down a little bit and maybe you're getting a little bit less carbs, popcorn is gonna be the perfect choice. And yeah, you can put real butter on there and load up on salt. I really don't have any problem with salt, and we'll get into this in the near future, but I don't really understand the problem with salt. Salt is, is a vital electrolyte that is used in so many processes in the body. The body has a homeostatic mechanism in it to get rid of sodium if you have too much and retain sodium if you have too little. So I don't know where this notion of sodium being dangerous for you came from, Maybe if you have hypertension or other issues, okay, sodium is bad for you, but anyways, I digress, okay? Have as much salt as you like, okay, within reason, of course, um, but your body will excrete it regardless. Uh, butter is fine, popcorn is fine, just make sure that you track all of your numbers. Everything you have, you gotta measure out and you've gotta put in your app, okay? Okay, I sent out a Slack uh, invitation uh, yesterday evening so you should have all received that if you did not let me know okay you should have all received an invitation to the slack communication group so you need the slack application which is a free download 
And then of course, click the link that I sent you and then it'll bring you into the group, okay? All right, and uh, one other quick thing I wanna mention here. Uh, got to eat meals. Uh, you can order their food in bulk if you didn't know that. So you can get like bulk made chicken breast, bulk made brown rice, bulk made quinoa, all kinds of different proteins, okay? So if you do want to, their number is, I should put this out in an email, but it's 778-833-GOT2. That's G-O-T uh, numeral two. 778-833-GOT2. Two. They do have an online ordering system, but they don't do that for bulk orders. You have to call, all right? That's why I'm giving you the number. You can also go to www.gottoeatmeals.com if you want to look at their website, okay? www.got2, that is uh, number two, eatmeals.com. All right. Um... I have other questions here, but I don't want to make this video too long because I'm already at six minutes. Uh, all right, so here's something I want to leave you guys with because this is really important. And this is the reason why, this is the reason why, this is the reason why, the number one reason why, all, whatever you want to call it, diets fail, okay? And believe me, there are a lot of poor diets, diet plans out there what I would consider to be poor. Um, but the main reason is because you focus on short-term perfection over long-term consistency. And that is the message of today. So I want you to focus on long-term consistency over short-term perfection. Long-term consistency over short-term perfection. There might be little blips, there might be little falls, there might be little what you might consider failures, but you gotta keep going forward and work on overall consistency. Work on long-term consistency and virtually any diet plan will work, okay? Now, there are some poor ones out there. I'm not saying that, I, that everyone will work. Some are very hard to keep uh, sustainable, okay? And this is why uh, I, I believe that my system is the most sustainable system out of anything I've ever seen. So, um, but of course, like I mentioned to you yesterday, we have to keep a cap on, of course, the total amount of energy. And we wanna be looking at things like, you know, your protein, your carbon, your different macronutrients, okay? Your proteins, your carbs, and your fats. They all play different roles in your body. Physiologically speaking, uh, so we'll get into that in the near future, okay? I don't want to start talking about that because I will make this video will be 20 minutes long. Now, what I'm going to do is I realized I had made some videos prior, and these went on my Instagram account, my own personal one, and I'm going to post uh, two of them up today because it's uh, related to the breakfast that I made or that I put together in the tutorial that we did on Saturday. Um, uh, forgive me, I was not wearing, <laughs> I wasn't wearing a shirt in the video, all right? It was summertime, it was hot. So just ignore that, all right? Uh, the video is, uh, the oatmeal, egg, and egg white with some fruit, uh, concoction, okay? And you can substitute in different fruits and add different condiments like cinnamon or not, or stevia for sweetener, or nutmeg, or whatever you want, okay? So I'm going to put that video in as a separate video, it will be a link that will go directly to my IGTV uh, videos that I did earlier on uh, in the summertime. Okay, so watch that, guys. Uh, I think you're going to really like that meal. I'm going to really encourage you to try to try it and uh, and see what you think. Okay, long-term consistency over short-term perfection. Remember that long-term consistency, not perfection, but consistency. Don't worry about being perfect, okay? Especially short-term perfection. It's not what it's about, okay? I need you to submit and commit to this challenge. Your numbers are coming. I appreciate your motivation. It is coming. Like I said, try to get a good source of protein every meal. 
And, um, and by the way, I already saw some people in the gym today who are doing their cardio. Kudos to you, ladies. I recognize that and um, I salute you, okay? I salute you, all right? Um, what else do I wanna say? Submit, commit, that's all I'm gonna say, okay? Positive energy, always believe in yourself and when you're down in the dumps, give gratitude. Give gratitude, you'll feel much better, okay? All right, you guys, Coach Mark here signing off and I'll talk to y'all soon, see you guys.